podcasting from O'Neill's Jamaican Restaurant here in Aruba. This is the Brooklyn Baritone Podcast. Hey everyone, thank you for joining me, whether it's the morning, afternoon, evening, or nighttime. I very much always appreciate the looks, the likes, the listens, but I will very much enjoy the support of you hitting that subscribe and notification bell on my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Baritone. Okay, I said I was here at O'Neill's Jamaican Restaurant. This place is a must-go to when you come to Aruba. God, believe me, you're coming to Aruba. When you come to Aruba, you're going to come here. Um, I've been here at least twice already, and I'm going to get something when I leave here. But I'm here with the man O'Neill. He took some time out of his busy, busy day. Believe he's busy. Thank you very much, O'Neill. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. How are you doing? Man? I'm doing fantastic, right. all right? So, all right. So we were talking a little bit before. Um, how long have you been here for? Oh, well, this is about 20 years already 20 since years. I've been in Aruba. Right. It's tremendous. It's great. So 20 years, and I was saying it's like, you know, before, you don't look like someone who's been here in for 20 years. You look younger than that. You know? Oh, you have been amazed. But, yeah, yeah, I still have some gray hair. A little bit of gray hair, but see, with your face, though, young and everything. So that leads me to believe that the island, you know, it um agrees with you. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's very quiet. There's nothing to worry about that much. It's not That's crazy. a lot of things. It's not crazy. It's not rush going, rush going. Yes, because yeah. being me, you know, Brooklyn Baritone's my name from Brooklyn. You know, Brooklyn is worldwide known for being busy, rushing and stuff. They have a ton of Jamaican restaurants, but maybe a small fraction that are actually good to go to. And I'm glad to say that this place here, even though it's like one of the more famous ones on the island, the food is actually great. The food is good. And again, we were talking about all the things that you had here. Um, you said this is Jamaican cuisine, so you were telling me you could expect to see Aki. Yeah, we have... Um we do international and Caribbean. Mm. We focus very much on our Jamaican as I'm a Jamaican descendant. Of course, yeah. So we focus on our Jamaican. So we have a and saltfish, we uh. have jerk chicken, jerk pork, uh. oxtail, curry goat, and we serve most and all things with rice and peas, plantain, mashed potato. We do have dumpling. Yes, we yes. We serve Aki and saltfish with the real deal. Dumpling, yes. yams, banana. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, it works. You see, and, and those are the things I grew up with. Again, me being Jamaican. I know you said you're from Jamaica. I said, well, you said you're from again for a while. I like that. You mean J- Jamaican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a bunch of us in New York and all over the place it's in the American. States. Jamaican. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so, all right. You've been here for 20 years. Um, and there's a lot of meat. And I was saying before, there's a lot of meat places on this island. It's vegetarian spots, but not as much as I would expect as a Caribbean place. But see, back home in Jamaica, there's a whole bunch of like, you know, ground food. Um, roots food, you know, Ito food and all them things, right? So, I didn't have an issue because I don't eat meat. I didn't have an issue coming here and having a belly full because um, you have the vegetarian plate and that's if you was, that was rice and peas, of course. Um, nice, beautiful salad. Had mashed potatoes um, and Fried the main in. thing, the, the curry vegetables. Curry vegetables are great. It was fantastic because I've never had it like that before. And to get it right, because you were saying, you know, a lot of people are spilling curry yeah, powder and that's it. Sure, the curry powder, and, that's and it. And you got the thyme. You get the, the thyme, some garlic, some scallion. All some them things properly. Jamaican spices. Yeah, and so that, that that hit me good. Yeah. And and it's not like a little small, you know, you know, dibby dibby plate that they give you or anything. It's a big helping. And yep. the last time I was here, I had the nerves to go order festival, you know. And people, again, who don't know at home. Festival is basically, you know, fried dumpling, you know, a little sugar in it. Um, some people put different spices or cinnamon. Depends who makes it, but that's basically the gist of it. And you usually eat it with escabeach fish and with the onions. I just eat the onions and, and that, and I'm straight. You know, I had the nerve to go order that on top of that big food. I was full. I was done. I don't know why I did it, but it tasted good. I didn't regret it, though, yeah, you know. Good. And then you were telling me that, you know, your staff, I really enjoyed your staff. They were very accommodating. And you said that they've been here with you from the beginning? From the beginning. So this February, on the 2nd of this February, we have six years existing here. And this is the same staff we started with and they're here. That's crazy. Yeah. See, and that's, that's hard to find a loyal, good, hard-working group. Yeah. You know, are they all from Jamaica? Definitely. 
uh, we have one, two Jamaican. Uh -huh. uh, my assistant's in the kitchen, the chef, the guy. Yeah. He's a Jamaican. Right. We have uh, Keisha. She's also Jamaican. Wow. Uh, uh, Saskia now, he's working now. She's a Rubian. Okay. Uh, so we are mixed with it. Uh, we have a Dominican lady in the kitchen that helps to do the salad and stuff. Well, so. she's she Dominican, so you know she know how to yeah, cook yeah, some. Yeah, so it's, that's yeah, good, that's yeah. good. Because <laughs> back, back in New York, we have some places where you would see like it's a Mexican restaurant. Yeah. But it's the Koreans owning it. They're Whoa, running it. Okay. I said, it's Mexican. I mean, they make the food good. So you need to get no mix up, mix up things. You know, you, you're no, Jamaican no, from we, back we, home. We, we, the, the kitchen, the staff in the kitchen, yeah. the assistant for myself, for myself, the real Jamaican, we only deal with the food. We get assistance with the the Dominican lady, like she put some salad, you know, she make the plates. I got you. But the spices and the food come from the real deal. Come, come from the heart. That, yeah. that, that's why it tastes so good. They ain't just say, hey, they got a restaurant down there. We're going to do the same thing. But they yeah. don't know nothing about cooking. Yeah, they cannot like, say, hey, the new kitchen is a Jamaican kitchen, but it's a Dominican cooking. No, it don't work like that. Right, right. See, <laughs> you get a lot of that in Brooklyn. No. So you're going to, you could make money there, you know, just in general, but a lot of things aren't authentic. And, and, I know for a fact that you were saying just a little while ago, um, if you come to New York, you clean up. Because it's, we have good places, but it's like far and few in between. Right, okay, so, so good. So it's good to see that you overcome. A lot of people have to shut down. A lot of people, you know, came and support their business, even if they are open, but it's still good to know that you're grounded enough and resourceful enough, too, to keep the good food coming. Yeah. Because you can't serve good food and then shut down the doors. It's going to no. be a riot on the island. See, it's, it's full of um, based on understanding and commitment, you know. I have, yeah. a, as, you, as I was telling you, I have staff that's working with me over the last six years that we've Boy. been doing it. So when it comes to the grinding, we all grind together, you that's know. Good. If it's not a lot, then we all take it some days on and off and right, we work right, right, together right. to keep it going. It's a proper understanding yeah. and they're invested into it. Yeah. And that's how it's supposed to really move because a lot of places they just hire people and they're just there for the money yeah. or whatever, but they're here to actually grow. They figure if the place grows, you know, they grow along with it too. Yeah, yeah. And they have it, it's good to have that loyal staff. Um, and then again, you seem like a real down to earth dude, you enjoying it and you need to enjoy what you do and it's gonna reflect in your product and your services. Yeah. And see that that's yeah. why I'm sitting here. Yeah. That's why I'm sitting here. But yeah. okay, man, listen, I'm supposed to get some other shots, cutaways and everything, but O'Neal, I very much appreciate you taking your time out of your busy day. You just opened and agreed to come sit down with me, so I feel highly honored. Um, so, what? Well, how can people get in contact with you? You have a number, website, um, address. Oh, I'll throw everything have, in there. We have. Uh, we're on Facebook, Twitter, TripAdvisor. Okay. Uh, so you can, uh, if you click O'Neill Restaurant in Aruba, you find it one shot. Uh, so I get you. So I'm yeah. gonna put all that information down in the, in the, yeah. in the um, video so everyone can, you can see. see our page. All that stuff. Our open hours. Some pictures that we post from our food. Right. And, and you like TripAdvisor. So you're yeah. on TripAdvisor. You know, people are gonna be on there looking. So you gotta have the real stuff. Yeah, I'm TripAdvisor. That's Boy. the big. That's the big one. That's, that's the, the one that. One. The comments are so you can always ch check in the chip advisor see what we written up about us and right yeah got see so i already ate here so i'm not going to give you no fake review this is why i'm interviewing this man right here so chip advisor is going to get a big fat review from me was it five stars they go to i'm gonna yeah, put i'm gonna put star. six <laughs> i'll put six stars five stars <laughs> but six is good i mean you can just use a pen and put another one i'll put another one <laughs> now, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna edit and hack the site to put six so you guys come here and put six so if you got swim on cruise on a boat if you swim here come straight to o'neill's you will not regret it o'neill thank you again thank i appreciate you. It's a that pleasure for me this man got to get back to the kitchen to cook i'm gonna that ask him to cook something real quick anyways I appreciate it. Check me out on my website at brooklynbaritone.com and also my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Baritone. I'm also on LinkedIn under Corey Ashley. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook. You can catch this podcast on Google Play Store, the Apple iTunes Play Store, and Amazon Music under Podcast. And also, if you are in Brooklyn, I'm on local Brooklyn broadcast television. I air on Tuesdays and Thursdays, both at 12 a.m. and 2 p.m. So make sure you check it out. Check this out. Hit these guys up. Go on TripAdvisor. Come here. Make a reservation if you need to. Give us very support because he deserves it. Anyways, I'm out. I will talk to you guys next week. Be blessed and walk good.